Hey yo, shout out to the bro Saquon, you heard? Make sure y'all check that all Saquon playlist so you could catch up on all the stories bro done put down on the channel in case you new to the channel. Yersk. Yo, give me a quick, give me a quick couple of names of some storytellers you've been hearing on this channel lately that you've been feeling. Yo, it's been some good guys been coming through, dropping some good material. Yo, shout out to D-Haven. D-Haven gave some good insight on some things I wasn't familiar with. I appreciated that. Um, the brother L-Train um, from, from Coney Island. Um, I've been liking a few things. I like the boy, um, the blood brother um, Caesar. Bleak, a.k.a. Okay, Bleak. Bleak. I like I like his insight on some things. LAC Gem Pop Gang in the building, you already know. Yo, shout out. Shout out to Herman, man. Herm up here right now. I'm trying to tap in with Herm. Where you at, Herm? Shout out, shout out my boys in Memphis. Shout out to 901 Talk TV. Got a good thing going on. We go to the armory, he like, yo, yo, that that dude, that blood dude right there snatched my chain on the island. So he looked, I said, what? I said, what you want to do? What you going to do? He said, I want that. All right. So dudes gave him the hammer. I said, yo, you, when you squeeze, just toss that shit back, son. So he went over there. Niggas was sitting down watching TV. Well, I got to the L. This had to be about, uh... Maybe 0203. I was coming out the box. Um so I get to the L, right? And um when I get to the L, it's just, it's just jumping. You know, um I go to A block first. So when I go to A block, dudes walk past and go to channel. I'm on a gate and shit, so I'm seeing dudes come by, so First person I seen was Ja. Now, I don't know if you know Ja, but Ja from Queens, Lawrence. You know what I mean? And um Ja fucking um Ja was involved with that young guns shootout at um what's that fucking movie theater in Queens? Um, come on man. Help me out here. The sunrise? Sunrise. Is you with me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so he was he was jammed up for that, but <laughs> Ja was the people, man. So when I see Ja, Ja tell him, like, yo, Trainell's here. He just named a mad people. Yo, J-Rock, J-Rock coming right behind me. So I was like, oh, shit, J-Rock here. I said, oh, shit. So J-Rock came past. I'm like, yo, so J-Rock was like, yo, what up? He said, you, 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 you come from the box? I said, yeah. He said, all right, when I come back later on, go on the wreck, I'm going to bring you a swag back. I said, all right, bro. So, boom. So, when Jai come back through, there's a couple of dudes that's coming through, but, you know, not to downgrade nobody, but everybody wasn't as significant as the individuals I'm naming. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, yeah, what up, what up, what up? So then, um, Jai like, yo, um, you staying in this block? You stand on this side, so I'm like, yo, I don't care where they send me. Now, upstairs, now when I get to this block, right? Um, when I get to the jail, my shorty brother had just left me in the box, right? And he was like, he was like, yo, um, I wasn't in touch with his sister at the time. So he was like, yo, I'm alive, you up, get you in touch back with her. So I was like, all right. But the nigga broke out, and the nigga didn't get me back in touch with him, you heard? But he went to Elmira. So, like, six months later, I go to Elmira, right? So, when I get there, they like, yo, um, such and such is here, such and such is here, such and such is here. So, I'm like, all right, cool. So, make a long story short, there's a dude upstairs, right? This dude name is, um, I think... They was calling him Scar. But you're going to know this dude when I finish telling you all this. You remember the dude that was from Albany Projects, right? And, um, 
he fucking was going upstate getting money, but he had AIDS and he was giving that shit to mad little girls upstate. You know what I'm saying? And he was giving it to mad chicks in his peace, you heard? At Albany Projects. This was a heavy case. They made a case out of this. An individual that had AIDS and not only was, 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 was given, they made a law behind that based on him. But he didn't get a lot of time behind that because that was the first of the event. So he was locked up upstairs from me, right? Now, I don't know this at the time. You know, I don't even know him. So um, I go outside. When I get off quarantine, I go outside. So I, I, I go to program committee. So when I go to program committee, they like, yo. So my son Bags is there. There's quite a few people there, bro. So I go to program committee, I go to our block. Now when I come to our block, peace, peace be upon him, brother Ali Sham from Allah Bone is up there. Um, he's down there on the flats. He's on the flats. Um, who the fuck else was there? It was just mad brothers there. Some elders. And some um some 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 of the bros, some of the comrades, right? But when I come through the block, I start calling out Chinese, yo. I'm calling out China. Yo, China, yo, Chinese. So he gets on the gate. So now, before I can even say anything, everybody is calling me out when I'm coming through the flats. Oh shit, yo, look at this. Yo, my God. So he like, yo, so China is up. Like, I'm on a flats walking to get to myself or going to the bubble. So he calls down. He like, yo. I said, yo, what gallery you on? So he says, yo, man, um, I'm up top. Um, He said, yo, I got to send you a blast. Let me know where you're going. I said, all right. I get, I go to the bubble. They give me my cell. So I go on, let me see, the flats was one, three, five. I was on five, I was on five, I believe. Five, five gallery, and he was on seven gallery, up above me, right? So, and we was like, kind of like close. Like, let's say if I was in 30, he was like in 33. You know what I'm saying? But right above me. <clears throat> so now, when you walk in a gallery, the gallery got like, a mesh fence so you can't really like throw nobody off the tip you know what I'm saying so he like yo I'm gonna fish you down a kite so he fish me down a kite I get the shit so when I get the shit he telling me like yo check it bro these dudes just tried to get at me but I apprehended all of them and they told on me so I'm gonna be locked up for 72 hours you know what I'm saying prior to this investigation and then he said yo um, on top of that he said yo bro Everybody used to be shouting me out every day. Ever since this shit happened, now nobody don't shout me out. Everybody is like distancing themselves, but niggas don't know I'm getting busy. So I'm like, yo, man, yo, I ain't, I'm not about to write you back, bro, because we could just talk on the gate. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so he like, all right. So then he like, matter of fact, nah, nah. You know, we gonna, we gonna keep it. You know what I'm saying? Um, Machiavelli. I said, all right, cool. So he sent me a blast. And the blast, he said, yo, I want you to go outside, right, on red, and go and find out the nigga Elo. Tell the nigga Elo, yo, you sent your people at me, right? And um, they failed, and they tell him, right? So how's it going to go from here on out? So I said, all right, cool, no problem. Right. So now when I come out in the gallery, I got quite a few dudes. I got my son bag. I got my other dude. He damn, this was Bum Bum Brother. I forgot his name though, but he was from the Heights, you know what I'm saying? And he was a blood dude, you know what I'm saying? But we chopping it up and he like So I'm like, Are you blood? So he like, Yeah, bro, but you know, everybody's on their own thing. I'm like, all right, cool, I got you. So anyway, I, I tell him, yo, who's who's the dude? Hello. So he like, right, I'm gonna take you out there. I don't want you to take me out there. I just want you to let me know who he is. Boom. Goes outside. Now, when I go outside, my son Bags is like, yo, son, listen, right? Son, I'm on a violation, right? I'm not here to be dealing with this shit. He said, yo, your man's in the mouth there is getting a lot of money, bro. And you just up in here 
just getting caught up in this this the, the, the shenanigans. Like this is what it's about. I said, nah. I said, son, you don't got to get caught up in nothing. I'm caught up in. You know what I'm saying? You good? You know what I'm saying? I ain't putting you involved with my shit, but I can't. You know what I'm saying? Dudes has got issues. I got. What the fuck am I doing? I'm sitting here. So he said, yo, bro, I get it, but I'm not on that time. You know what I'm saying that nigga China, he always in some. I said, I get you, bro. That ain't your bag, though. You, you good, right? So now, I goes out there. I, 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 matter of fact, my son eat him up. was out there. It's a blood dude. Eat him up from Harlem. My guy, good guy. So eat him up. It's like, oh shit, yo, son, what up? So I'm like, yo, what up, bro? So they over there by the pull-up bar. You know, that's where I live at. So I'm like, yo, what up? Eat him up. So he like, ain't shit. I'm like, yo, who's Larry O? So he like. Yo, that's that China shit, right? I said, yeah, bro, you you know what that's about? So he said, all right, son, look, um, <clears throat> I'm introduce you to him right now. So he introduced me to Lario. Lario is a real, how should I say, he's a real diplomatical kind of guy, right? So at the time, he got braids, right? So we chopping it. So I said, yo, bro, I said, um, yeah, yo, China just told me that, you know, you, you, the people got at him. I don't know if you sent them or whatever the case may be. I don't know how y'all shit go. So he like, yo, you know what, son? I respect you for the simple fact that you coming out here to address an issue pertaining to your people. You know what I'm saying? So I respect that, he said. But I'm going to tell you something about this dude, China, son. This nigga done read too many fucking 48 laws of power and Prince Machiavelli and this nigga think he's a motherfucking manipulative machine. <laughs> so all I could do is just like give a little chuckle because there is some truth to that. You know what I'm saying? So I say, yo, bro, I get what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? But you know, bro, and my co defendant been having issues with y'all for the longest of times. You know what I'm saying? I bumped in the ears, big panda. You know what I'm saying? And downstate, and that shit's supposed to be rectified. So I'm trying to find out what this right here brought about. So he was like, yo, son, because the nigga sitting trying to just have too much to say on certain shit he shouldn't have nothing to say on. So I said, I'll get you. I said, yo, check it though, right, bro? Everything being real. You know what I'm saying? Your people got at him. Your people took a loss. Your people is, he's under investigation right now. So I could only assume that somebody told because he got away from the situation when it went down. You know what I'm saying? So he was like, yeah, that, that, that's, he said, I respect the way you choose your words carefully. I said, yeah, because you can't put nothing on nobody, but the way it's looking right now, it's looking kind of, he said, I agree with you. He said, um, let's do it like this, right? He said, if he get out, right? Because I don't know if he's going to get out. They might just move him because he's just a problem. Um, but if he get out, right? We'll just see what the temperature is like when he come out. You know what I'm saying? I look, I say, you know what? I can respect that, bro. You know what I'm saying? I respect that because, you know, um, this conversation could have went a whole bunch of ways, different ways, you know what I'm saying? So he was like, yeah, bro. So I said, all right. Boom. Broke out. I went upstairs. Back. So I told I told him, I said, yo, bro, I talked to the bro. The bro was saying this, that, and the third, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. So China was like, yeah, man, yo, man, I mean, everything being real, niggas gonna be real. If them dudes, you know what I'm saying, told them, it, it, it should be. So I said, bro, I don't know. I, it, at the same time, I don't know none of these dudes. And, you know, me, I'm I'm on go. So he said, yeah, I know, I know. He said, but we trying to, re we trying to remain here for a minute. Some things that could get done. So I said, all right, cool. Right? So China gets so off, right? When China gets off, right? We goes outside, they had a conversation, they rectify everything is Gucci Dan, right? Okay. Now, that same week, now we meet up in the law library, right? Every weekend, right? So I go, and this is where I meet up with J Rock at, too. So when I go there with J Rock, J Rock, like, yo, I don't like that dude. I said, oh, man. So I'm like, yo, 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 rock, uh, I get it, you know what I'm saying? But that's the bro. He said, yeah, nah, this dude is just way too, he's just way too much. He thinks he's more than what he is. Like, he have no opportunities to cross my path or say nothing, and he even look at me funny. 
I said, God damn. I said, all right, Jay Rock, so look, this is what I'm going to do, right? I'm going to tell him to stay away from you because, you know, I, I don't need that right now. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I really don't need that. He said, man, you got to be, be careful who you be fucking with, man. He's, I said, yo, I've been fucking with him for a minute, bro, since, since the start. You know what I'm saying? He said, I get it, man. I get it, man. I just don't like to do it. I don't want to do it around me, nothing, man. I said, oh, shit. I said, all right. So I go tell China, yo, bro, look, man, you really be doing too much, son. Like, you got niggas that don't even have a concern about humanity, but they don't like you. So you're doing something that's really rubbing people the wrong way, bro. And this ain't even open for discussion, but my thing is, <clears throat> my OG from off my end, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's just not feeling you. And that stays right here. Ain't nothing to talk about. Just stay out of his way, bro. And this is something I had to do because, like, I couldn't let that even get nowhere because J-Rock is a different kind of animal. You hear me? So, all right, so while we up there talking, now they tell me, yo, now, it was a situation happening in Clinton with the dude Ralph Lowe and the Bloods. Um, I don't know. The, I don't even know what happened. I know the Bloods tried to get at him, and the whole Brooklyn just held him down, and they got at the Bloods. I don't know how it went, who won or who lost. All I know, I heard about it through the state. Right? Now, it just so happened we in the L, and at this time, a lot of these dudes is getting out the box from that incident. So just so happened, one dude named Uptown comes there, right? When he comes there, Jaws like, oh, nah, he got to get it, right? So China like, all right, we got him, right? So now I'm like, all right, first of all, I need to know who this dude is, boom, boom, boom. So make a long story short, right? Um, It was two dudes that came there. Another dude, I don't know if his name was MZ, I, I forgot, but he caught him in the library, wet him, right? Tried to get uptown, he didn't fall for the bait, right? Cause that's when we was lynching niggas and coming out the library, the little library. You know what I'm saying? It was a lynch mob going on there. You don't get caught in them stairs. So anyway, this is what the nigga jogged. This is what brothers came up with, right? It was a brother named Saquon that was there right now. Saquon is Panamanian, and this is my guy, right? Um, so me and Say was in Clinton together. So Say is there. So Say like, yo, what's up? We rocking? So I'm like, yeah, we rocking. So he like, anyway, child like, yo, what's up with your man say? I said, he about it. They said, yo, the nigga, the nigga gonna take a hit and he gonna hit the nigga uptown. So I said, oh, world. I said, all right, cool, right? So niggas went and got, niggas went and got a scrundle for him, you heard? Mm -hmm. Came, paid him his payment, right? Now niggas is just waiting. Now at the same time, what? Right? I get moved out of our block, right? So now I'm in G block. Now G block, this is a whole. I got endless stories about G block, but I can't get into that right now. So anyway, right? I'm in G block. So my little man Panna comes there, right? This is not the same pan as Saquon, but Panna comes there. So when Panna comes there, Panna like, yo, I I don't know him, you know what I'm saying? So he so matter of fact, big bro Wag was there. Shout out to Wag, yo. So Wag is like, yo, my little yo, this little dude over there named Panna, man, fucks with him, you know what I'm saying? So I said, alright, so I start fucking with Panna, we chopping it up. So we go to the we go to the um armory, right? We go to the armory, he like, yo, yo, that, that dude, that blood dude right there snatched my chain on the island. So he looked, I said, what? I said, what you wanna do? What you gonna do? He said, I want that. All right. So dudes gave him the ham. I said, yo, when you, when you squeeze, just toss that shit back, son. So he went over there, niggas was sitting down watching TV. He went, he squeezed, tossed it back, and his man broke out on him, right? And he started fighting Panna, right? So they start fighting, so, um, so now Panna get locked up, 
pan to do a little 30 days. He's doing it right there in the gallery. So boom, he gets off. Now, check out what the nigga say corn do, my nigga. Found this shit in America, bro. This nigga goes to the nigga uptown and tell the nigga uptown, like, yo, niggas got a hit on you, bro. Niggas paid me to hit you. So he tells the nigga uptown, like, yo, see, what he was thinking was that he was going to kill two birds with one stone, right? And he was like, he already got the payment. He going to tell this nigga, hoping this nigga was going to start shooting niggas and everybody out of the way and say just made off, right? But that's not what happened. That nigga uptown blew it up. Like, yo, what's up? Y'all niggas put hits out on me? So niggas was like, huh? Niggas said, oh, shit, right? So China was like, okay, yo, check it. Both of these niggas got to get hit tomorrow. Point blank range, right? Yo, so the nigga Ja responsibility was to hit the nigga say China responsibility is to hit the nigga uptown right so the nigga now keep in mind Ranch Panna and Saquon right those dudes is kind of cool you know Panamanians like you know what I'm saying they fucks around with each other so I introduced them so what happened is Saquon walking outside of G block going to the infirmary so the nigga, my boy Ill Will from Queens, shout out to Ill fucking Will. Where you at, Ill Will? So Ill Will shoots the shit out of Say. Lock up, right? Scalp them, right? Say can't do nothing. Say goes to the front where they put him in IPC, right? So now in IPC, he's in the window right there, right? So now China goes about getting a nigga uptown, gets him, right? Now, after that, right? Now, Panna is with me. So, Panna, actually, I didn't give the dynamics to the nigga Reg about everything that was going on because it's like, yo, man, this shit is too deeper than the laws of physics for me to just update you on anything. Just just chill. Just be with me. So, but when Say got hit, Reg was feeling a way. I didn't know. You know what I'm saying? So, I goes outside, I goes to the infirmary, right? So I'm on a ramp talking to Will, and we talking, we shooting the shit, and I'm saying, he like, yeah, man, you know, uh, uh, uh. <clears throat> the nigga Reg comes out the infirmary <clears throat> while I'm talking to the nigga Will, and bangs the nigga Will in the face. So I'm look, I'm like, yo, what the fuck you doing, my nigga? Right? So Will jumps off on them, so they start plucking, plucking out, plucking it out and shit. So now, Red's like, yo, fuck that, that nigga cut say, that nigga cut say. So I'm like, yo, my nigga, man, the fuck, man. So anyway, after that, Will had to scurry off, Red scurry. So I said, yo, Red, man, I said, yo, bro. I said, yo, son, you, like, what, like, uh, yo, son, like, nah, you wasn't supposed to do that, son, right? So anyway, Right, um, he goes upstairs. We go because he's like two cells away from me. Right, wait a minute, did they get caught? I don't think they got caught. I think they did get caught. I don't know because I told the nigga, I said, Yo, bro, that shit you just did, that shit was not that shit wasn't sanctioned, bro. That shit gonna come back, bro. You gotta that shit ain't good bread, bro. So he was like, What the fuck? That nigga cut say, I said, Yo, it's, it's fucking dynamics behind shit, my nigga. Like that nigga saying, Telling you every fucking thing. What the fuck happened for that, that led to that? Tell that nigga to tell you that shit. So he was like, yo, man, say fuck that, man. That nigga cut say. So I said, all right, bro. All right, cool. You know what I'm saying? So now, I tell that nigga, Reg, I say, yo, son, we, we fighting, son, when we, when we get off or something. I don't know. We just fighting. And um, so now China and Ja is sending me blasts, like sending me all kind of cuts. Like, yo, what the fuck? What? What, what, what happened with your little man? Your, your, your little man is out of control. You ain't controlling the situation. So I'm like, yo, bro, like that shit just came out of nowhere, man. Tell a nigga ill will, man. I'm, I'm, uh, I got him. Just chill. You know what I'm saying? Come on, son. Like, come on. So what the fuck is that about? So I'm like, oh, man. You know what I'm saying? So that's pertaining to that situation um, where the motherfucking um, Panna. Saquon and um and Josh. So now 
Will, I, I pulls up on Will. I goes, so I goes and see Will. So I'm like, Yo, Will, bro, you like, what up, man? I said, Yo, that shit was a violation of me in more than one way. I said, the one, you sitting there talking to me. You know what I'm saying? I said, for two, you know what I'm saying? That's my little man. I said, for three. I ain't have no insight on how he felt about that situation, you know what I'm saying? And me being around him every day, I'm supposed to pick this brain. I didn't, bro. I'm going to take full responsibility of that, you know what I'm saying? So he like, man, oh, man, son, I just, damn, son. And that shit was, that was one of the fucked up feelings that sat with me, bro, because, like, you know, um, that shit, first of all, it was violation on, if you look at it from every aspect of it, it's like, I introduced the nigga, so I, I sanctioned the nigga, say like, yeah, yo, he be hitting shit. So I even, I, I directed him to John, them niggas. This nigga decided to do that sucker shit. And when he did that and they told me that, no, they didn't even tell me that. Then I was right there when the nigga uptown said, I said, oh shit. So now when Say got hit, Say was in the window. So when I go past, I'm like, yo, bro, what type of shit you on, my nigga? Like dead ass serious, bro? And say got a lot of asshole full of time, bro. It's like, I don't even understand how you could try to pull some shit off like that knowing that you got to be here, my nigga, and you got shit like that coming on in your jacket. Like, that nigga, niggas had 25 and was walking that shit down. This nigga had about 50 or 70 or something like that. You know what I'm saying? But the point is, what I'm making is that that was a situation that kind of got out of control off of my end. You know what I mean? But I tried to rectify it, man, but then I got jammed up. And that's when I went to the box. You know what I mean? Um, so that whole situation is, see, but El Migra was a different kind of environment. Like, I, I block, Iraq, that shit was like Spanish orientated. I seen some shit go down there, bro, that I ain't seen nowhere else. And, um, but that shit was Spanish orientated, and it wasn't like they had the shit on Smash, but they was they was they was letting this shit go up over there. You know what I'm saying? And um, a lot of brothers, you know what I'm saying, was still in Iraq because that was that that, that was where you needed to be at. But when I got the G block, now this is this, this is the separation from the boys to the men. You know what I'm saying? Cause G Block is one of the biggest galleries. Like it got like maybe six tiers on both sides. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and um, that shit right there, it wasn't nothing but hard hitting, earth shattering, hustling motherfuckers in G Block because it was so big and it had so much, so much revenue. You know what I'm saying? We had motherfuckers that was working in industry there. You just had a whole bunch of things going on, so it was a lot of money in there. Now, the individuals that was there, man, it's like, um, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I ain't gonna be able to get into all that right now, but Wag was there, Cold Pepper was there, Peace Be Upon Him, um, um, J Dub was there, um, Bobby Fingers was there, um, T-Bone from um rough from Buffalo. Um motherfucking um GYC motherfuckers from Sycamore breaking them boys. Peace be upon them. You know what I'm saying? It was um <clears throat> Ray. Ray from um Buffalo. Um Mel Cox was there with me. You know what I mean? Um so it was a lot of different shit going on right there. Now, I'm going to get into that. And when I get into that, that's a whole different entity. You know what I mean? Because um, shit went down so bad that the the news, the local news came in the, in the, in the jail, in our gallery, and had the motherfucking gallery on the news. I'm watching news in my motherfucking cell on the TV, and I'm seeing a motherfucking gallery, bro. <laughs> and I'm like, oh shit! Now, the shit that transpired for the news to come in there, we gonna have to brace ourselves for this one, bro. Because again, El I seen some shit that hurt, some shit that kind of still haunts me, bro. 
everything being real, bro. You know? So when it's time to elaborate on that. Elaborate on it, nigga. What happened on the tear? Oh, man. What happened on the tear? All right. So this is what was going on, right? It was a lot of niggas in there getting a lot of money, right? Now, but when I stepped on the scene, right? But around... Hey yo, holla at me if you need that promo on the channel, you heard? Rappers, brands, Instagram pages, YouTube channels, get at me.